All right, so this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading April 6th to April 12th, 2020. And in case any of you guys is uh, interested into a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, meaning to be able to link every single tarot card, or at least with my beginner scores, the major arcanas in terms of love, in terms of career, in terms of a negative and, and positive expression of the card, in terms of uh, uh, dedicated positions in the spread. I'm offering online courses that you can sign up through my website once again. And once you do so, uh, my assistant is going to let you know when the classes are taking place. So uh, that being said, moving to the first uh, card in the spread here, which is the general topic. We do have the Ten of Wands followed by the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic here. That will be the Page of Cups. Then it is the, oh my God, then it is the challenges that you have to overcome. That will be the Star card that we do have. And afterwards, it is, oh my, uh, the Gifts and the Blessings that uh, you can enjoy here. That is to be uh, the Two of Cups. Followed by the impression of the people around um, that you are leaving in them. That will be the Six of Cups. And at the end, we do have the Two of Swords, which represents the guidance that Taro is giving to you. So, um, you are definitely not going to be alone throughout the week. This is as much as I can tell you for sure here, with certainty, okay? So, what we do have with the first couple of cards... It is the Ten of uh, Wands as the topic, and then it is the Page of Cups as the energy. So let's start from the energy. Page of Cups as the energy, it is when one stop being, I'm sorry guys, being held back by a things that can simply be sorted out. So in other words, you will stop, go, you, you are going to stop worrying for a things that either way, are going to be either resorted or either you cannot do anything about, okay? And instead of wasting your energy, your time and your emotions, for that matter, for a, uh, um, a specific aspect or rather like a, spe a, a specific details that you cannot do anything about, you are to start addressing those um, emotions and those nerves and in generally those energies of yours, attitudes of yours toward the bigger picture. Uh, what you can achieve into the future or in other words you will stop concern yourself with what could have been but you are going to start concerning yourself with what can be from now on this as an energy is going to make you reposition yourself in terms of uh, relationship standing in terms of career standing as well some people are going to like it because you're going to become more attentive to them other people they are not going to like it because they are going to see that you are drifting away from them. Why? It is because they are exactly that things that are aggravating, irritating and that are making you unhappy. Because the week itself, it is how you are going to make yourself happy and feeling useful rather than, you know, trying to fulfill someone else's expectations and above everything else to follow someone else's goals. So, Page of uh, Cups with that particular uh, narrative, it does point that you are not manifesting, but let's say provoking a, a major change that is gonna take place in the future, not exactly now, but in the future. Right now, you are just realizing that you do need that change. And so that will lead us to the topic itself, which is the Ten of Wands. And that points that you are going to start moving many things around, okay? Uh, and re-adopting, reshuffling, uh, re uh, how can I say, rebuilding, if you will, um, reshaping was the word that I was searching for. Things into your career, things into your relationship. Why? Because you want them to be exactly reciprocal to your expectations because if you uh you you will want to know what you are exactly struggling for okay because if your career for example isn't giving you 
the um, the payment that you are struggling for there is no need to move forward with it or the very least it doesn't uh, it, it doesn't make any sense to do it the same way that you have did it uh, until now so the ten of wands here points that you are going to start exerting rules by yourself okay in in, in your career or into your relationship and whoever does not apply to those rules they are free to go whoever does apply to those rules they are going to be happy happy with you now ten of wands as well points that you are going to reap a lot of harvest meaning that uh, you know some opportunities you have taken back in the day now are going to open up and they're going to seem like a uh, awesome opportunities okay but also you are going to understand that there is what else can be achieved in this in these particular places so you are not at the end of the line yet if you think that you have finalized for example a, a good business deal well guess again because you can expand on this business deal but the ten of ones points that you also have to uh, be uh, not the word is not consistent more like a uh, um, no, it's not enthralling ever. Even it's it's more like a uh, dedicated to show that you can offer even more, that you can be even more professional than that. So you can expect to be very very busy as well throughout the week in terms of career and in terms of relationship. But you need to know that whatever does not correspond with your um. It's not interpretation with your rules and as well with, with your understanding. It's It simply needs to go here because once again, you are shaping your environment throughout this week and changing it the way that is going to suit you best, not someone else, you. Because this is why this is happening, guys, with those energies, because at the end of the day, whatever uh, in whatever environment you find yourself in as a life that is as a, your personal life you like it you 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 feel like you are emotionally connected to it instead of hating it because right now whatever you are hating it is just you gotta change it you don't have to leave it behind once again you gotta change it and only if it does not um it does not budge uh, under your efforts to change it only then you resort to leaving it behind so what is going to be the challenge for you here uh, that will be the star card uh, there are two challenges first it is the uh, lack of subordination in the sense of that uh, you may not face the unconditional support you are counting on so therefore you have to make those changes and those adaptations on your own accord and you have to struggle with the thing as well on your own accord also so you can feel an extra burden that it is hanging on your shoulders especially if it is a relationship you're trying to change the relationship in a way that is going to suit you well and that is going to suit your partner and you see that your partner does not give a dime about it okay they they just say okay do whatever you like and i am just going to comply with you so that's that so everything will depend on you that is one of the challenge the other challenge is that you may jump into it with very very high ideals which are going to make it rather unachievable at that particular stage so in, in a sense of that you may try you may try to accomplish the very last result without uh, acknowledging that there are milestones along the way so instead of focusing on one step at a time you are to focus on directly you know into the uh, end product and that may deprive you of a uh, how can i say it missing an important details along the way and uh, that itself could discourage you of believing that the thing is possible that is the challenge here to believe that it is possible and to understand that your era of turmoil of a struggling you know and of chaos mayhem in generally it's uh, rather over with this card so from now on you can just only feel the clearance that it is in front of you and it's going to be a shame if you do not do anything uh, anything about it so why you are not going to be alone like i said at the start of the reading well we do have the two of cups which is your gift your blessing throughout the week and the two of cups is the gift of cooperation meaning that someone who has an emotional attachment with you or 
a society of people that has an emotional attachment to you is gonna help you the good thing about the two of cups is that these people are helping you without asking anything in return but this help is gonna be a circumstantial because with the star card you're not gonna receive direct help in there okay but the very least those people will show that they are supporting your actions they are supporting you through that development and uh, uh, they are going to reassure you that you are not doing anything wrong now on the on another note uh this card could be the gift of love of course because it's the two of cups and especially if you are single then uh it, to me it will point that uh, it is about a, a development of love with a person you least expected with someone that you probably both tried tried back in the days you couldn't for one or another reason things went quiet and now those feelings are, are, are now, um, how can I say it, are now re-emerging, resurfacing, uh, resur resurfacing once more. And I would say here, looking at those cars, that things did not work out because you did, uh, you and the person itself as well, have been more attentive to the irritating details. For example, these kind of negative traits into one or another behavior that could be polished and one could live with them rather than to the overview which could be that you can be happy together that you can love each other right and so now in this case the week is going to be the week where you are attending to those setbacks with the ten of wands many things are moving around and you are reshaping it just like i said you're reshaping yourself and the person that did not work out back in the days is reshaping their behavior and their attendancy to the relationship as well so uh, that moves us to the other card which is uh, the impression of the people around that is a beautiful impression six of cups people were seeing you that you do what you like with the six of cups because the six of cups does represent the emotional and physical um a tendency and attraction of one thing meaning that your boss will see that you do love what you do and that will impress them you may not love it but all that matters for that card is what kind of impression your boss have okay um everybody around you in case you are making relationship or you are in a relationship are going to see that you are physically and emotionally dedicated to that relationship so nobody is going to have a doubt that you do love your partner even your partner is not going to have a doubt that you do love them there could be issues in between you two but the benefit of the, of the doubt in, in term of uh, that you do love is not going to be among them okay or the certainty of that you do love them is not going to be among them okay and therefore you can feel how can i say it certain that um well how can i say it you you can be you can be certain that, that this person is not going to make you feel bad in any a conscious way in a sense of to provoke you for example they can do something stupid and you may feel bad but that is going to be without they wanting it to do it is it something spontaneous that they they would wish to take it back and the last one here it is the guidance the tower is offering we do have the two of swords and that card points only one thing here for you pisces aim for peace okay aim for equilibrium the card points especially as we can see that everything is related with other individuals no one is perfect okay there are always things that we are going to like or dislike into one specific individual into our suitor into our husband or wife into our boss as well okay but the card points that everything lingers in an equilibrium we can find as much aggravating things into one person just as much as positive traits into them and uh, the card point that we or you Pisces should at least for now situate for what is uh, I would say again certain for you and try to find more the positive traits rather than to linger to the negative which is exactly what the energy is all about stop attending to what could have been okay just attend to what can be with the things you can make right now and attend to it again ten of wands urges action straight away sort the things out and start making um not progress but start forcing and forcing actions just as the results demand 
so that being said Pisces this was your weekly general tarot reading guys uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and um, if you're interested in a personal reading with me you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such and as well if you like the way how I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read that way I'm offering online tarot classes and in those classes I'm going to uh, describe you or explain you should I say rather every card from the major arcana with a beginner course in terms of love in terms of relationship in terms of positive and negative aspect and in terms of positions in a dedicated spread so hopefully you're going to stay safe now and uh, see you around until then bye